Hello Aquarius and welcome to your April guidance with me Julie Poole. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right my darlings, this is good for Aquarius sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross watching. And do check out your other signs, yeah. It is always worth, especially your rising, uh, to get a bigger, more all-round picture. Alrighty. The cards I use are linked below if you want to know more about them and also to book in with me if you would like your own private reading because this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest. Alright, are we ready? Yes we are. Okay, what do we have for my Aquarius please? Your central energy for the month Aquarius is the lovers with the faith card, the moon, the death card, wow. And the Eight of Swords, all right. You've got four out of five major arcana cards here, Aquarius. This is going to be a very, very powerful month. Whoa, very powerful as I'm just tuning into this energy for you. It's like, go, 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 go. Those, that's the words I'm hearing. Go, 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 go. All right. You're not seeing it just now, but it's coming. That's from the Tower of Dreams, by the way, those of you interested in the cards. These are the Energy Oracle. What do we have for my Aquarius, please? You have the card of Envy. And from the answer is simple. I think we want that one as well. We've got Detox and Reach Out. From the Wisdom of the Oracle. For my Aquarius, please. Truth be told, and from the Animal Oracle, Aquarius April please, Aquarius April, thank you. Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. All right, so let's have a look at this very powerful month for you, very powerful indeed. So your central energy, Aquarius, the Lover's card. Major Arcana, this is a card about relationships and love, but also decisions and choices. You are at a crossroads here in April. There's power around you to transform and change your life in any direction that you want, in any area that you want. The alchemy here, the power in this for you to be able to draw to you like a magnet that which you seek is very, very strong. Beautiful. Now we've got it supported by these other cards, okay, of change and transformation. The death card with the eight of swords. The eight of swords, as we know, is a card of feeling stuck feeling trapped. This can be within your own mind, in your own beliefs, within a circumstance or situation that you believe you're stuck in. And that could be a job, a relationship, a home, an environment, a habit, um, an addiction, anything that you feel that you're stuck in. We have got the death card above it saying it's time for that to end. It's with the snake, which is all about transformation. We can end that period where we felt stuck and that enables it to fall away and for you to move then into, this is the energy that's in the central place. It's all about, I can make new decisions and new choices. Some of you are ending a relationship that has been stuck. Some of you are not ending the relationship, you're ending the stuckness of the relationship so that it can start to move forward again into a much more harmonious and better place. But essential to that is that you have faith, that you keep the faith. This is the Hierophant card. The faith is about your knowledge, your growth, your expansion, learning. You've learned the lessons from this, which is why the situation can end. You've taken the growth and the learning and you're ready to move forward now. But at the, the moment, you're not sure what that moving forward is. The moon symbolizes what's unknown, what's unseen. I don't know just yet. 
but I trust it will come. The answers will come from deep within me. The moon signifies your subconscious, your deepest desires, uh, your your deepest wishes and dreams that you don't even dream, you don't dr- hope to dream them. But with faith, you can dream them, and they can come up to the surface and allow you to then bring them into actuality. See, the dog signifies on this card, there's always the dog and the wolf on the moon card. And dogs signify loyalty. And wolf is the teacher. So we're teaching you to be loyal to yourself, to put yourself first, to make sure your own needs are met. And as you do so, and you're in that faith, you're able to transform that part of you that was stuck and let it go. Now, we've got the detox and reach out here coming out together. Detox is what it says on the 10. You're detoxing from a challenging, difficult situation. This could be a toxic relationship that you're allowing to end. This can be physical detox, where you are detoxing your food, your drink, um, any addictions. You're letting them go and you're reaching out for help and support. So those of you who are making the decision to leave a relationship that's toxic and saying it's got to end. I am choosing that. I'm choosing myself over this toxic situation. I'm having faith that I can transform it. I'm going to reach out to a lawyer and I'm going to start the divorce proceedings or I'm going to reach out to a landlord to find me somewhere else to live or a realtor or an estate agent. I'm reaching out for what help I need to detox this situation. If this was a job that was toxic, you're reaching out to new employers, recruitment agents, whatever this is for you, reach out and allow help in to let that situation detox, all right? Now, the Envy card is here and that's one of the things that can absolutely be what you need to detox from. Stop looking at other people's lives as golden. We often do this, don't we? We we look at somebody else driving a flash car or living in a flash house or having the seemingly perfect relationship and we say, it's not fair, they've got it all. But actually, we have no idea what's going on in their life. They could have enormous health issues. They could have enormous family problems. We don't know. So let's not be envious of what others have. Instead, let's use that energy of envy to drive you forward to meet, saying, if they can have it, so can I. If they can have that golden life, so can I. So what do I need to do? What do I need to transform? What do I need to choose so that I can have it too? Now, we've got the turkey spirit here. Give with gratitude and grace. And for I feel for many of you, you are giving away this toxic stuck situation and you're grateful that it's gone you're saying i'm handing this over to the universe you can have this thank you very much i've had enough of it i'm ready to let go for others of you you are physically giving gifts or support emotionally and you're giving it because it feels right for you to give it okay so allowing yourself to reach out there But very important this month is the truth. We need to be truthful. You know, denial is a very powerful defense mechanism. Many of us live in toxic, stuck situations and convince ourselves it's not really that bad and it'll be okay. And actually, as we step into this energy of truth be told and allow the mask to drop and the truth to be seen and revealed, which is what the owl, which is wisdom, starting to really see the truth of a situation, then we allow the change and the transformation to take place. It's 14, which comes down to a five, and five is the number of change. So by being truthful, by allowing the mask of illusion to drop, we can then allow that transformation to take place and new choices and decisions to be made. Beautiful. 
So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. It's a very powerful month of change and transformation. I hope this helps. If it did, do give it a like, a share, all that lovely stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. You take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.